The following is an audio replica of general conference addresses from general authorities and leaders of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, as recorded in various transcripts, minute notes, newspaper articles, and personal logs. These aforementioned materials are items of public record and domain. This audio may therefore be freely shared, copied, and distributed. Most general conference reports and records were not published by the Church in official capacity prior to 1897. As of the time of this recording, the Church's official website does not contain any general conference transcripts prior to 1971. It is important to remember that many older transcripts cannot be verified and thus may contain statements or teachings of uncertain authenticity. This audio replica has been created as a private project for educational purposes only and does not necessarily represent the views or opinions of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. From Kirtland, Ohio, this is the March 7th and 8th, 1835, General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This day, a meeting of the Church of Latter-day Saints was called in this place for the purpose of blessing in the name of the Lord those who have heretofore assisted in building, by their labor and other means, the house of the Lord in this place. The forenoon was occupied by President Joseph Smith, Jr. in remarks to the Church upon the propriety and necessity of purifying itself. In the afternoon, the names of several, those who had assisted to build the house, were taken and further remarks were made by President Joseph Smith, Jr. He said that those who had distinguished themselves thus far by consecrating to the upbuilding of said house, as well as laboring, were to be remembered, that those who build it should own it and have the control of it. After further remarks, he proceeded to call a vote of those who had performed this labor, whether they would still go on and perform the remaining part of the same. To honor President Joseph Smith Jr.'s remarks that these distinguished individuals will be remembered, here are the names of those who were blessed in consequence of their working on the house of the Lord in Kirtland, and those also who were consecrated to its upbuilding. Sidney Rigdon, Joseph Smith Jr., Frederick G. Williams, Joseph Smith Sr., Oliver Cowdery, Newell K. Whitney, Reynolds Cahoon, Hiram Smith, Jared Carter, Jacob Bump, Artemis Millet, Alphaeus Cutler, Asa Lyman, Josiah Butterfield, Noah Packard, Jonas Putnam, Isaac Hill, Edmund Durfee Sr., Edmund Durfee Jr., Gideon Ormsby, Albert Minor, Ira Ames, Salmon Gee, Peter Schertz, Isaac Hubbard, Horace Burgess, Dexter Stillman, Amos F. Herrick, Matthew Hillman, William Carter, William Burgess, Thomas Fisher, Sterry Fish, Amos R. Orton, Alman Sherman, Warren Smith, Moses Bailey, Seeb Ives, Andrew H. Aldrich, Ebenezer Jennings, Oliver Granger, Orson Johnson, James Lake, William Redfield, Cyrus Lake, Harvey Smith, Isaac Cleveland, William Barker, Samuel S. Brannan, John Wheeler, Henry Baker, William Fisk, Henry Wilcox, George Gee, Lorenzo Young, David Cloth, James Durfee, Joseph Coe, Thomas Gates, Lauren Babbitt, Blake Baldwin, Joseph B. Bosworth, Gad Yale, John Johnson, Giles Cook, Marvel C. Davis, Jamin Aldridge, John Young Sr., Ezra Strong, Joel McQuithy, Matthew Foy, James Randall, John P. Green, Aaron C. Lyon, Thomas Burdick, Truman Waite, Edmund Bosley, William Bosley, William Perry, Don Carlos Smith, Shadrach Rundi, 
Joel Johnson, Oliver Higby, Evan M. Green, Levi Osgood, Alpheus Harmon, Joseph C. Kingsbury, Ira Bond, Z. H. Brewster, Samuel Thompson, John Ormsby, Lumen Carter, John Smith, Samuel H. Smith, John Tanner, Henry G. Sherwood, Sidney Tanner, Joseph H. Tippetts, Robert Dugley, Erastus Babbitt, Samuel Canfield, Phineas H. Young, Samuel Rolfe, Calvin W. Stoddard, Josiah Fuller, Erastus Rudd, Isaac G. Bishop, Roswell Murray, Benjamin Wells, Nehemiah Harmon, Oliver Weatherby, Thomas Hancock, Joshua Grant, William Draper, Ransom Van Leeuwen, Tunis Rappel, John Reed, Samuel Wilcox, and Benjamin Johnson.